Good morning everyone, welcome to this new shaving review. Uh, before we start today, I would like to go back on uh, the last video I made on the Soap Asian Plum by uh, Ariana and Evans. In the video I mentioned that it was a vegan soap. Uh, I was wrong, okay? Uh, I went with the label. When I posted the video, Peter Shakalis came back and he corrected me and he mentioned uh, there was a mistake with the printing of the labels and tallow did not show, okay? Therefore, therefore, it's not a vegan soap, it is a tallow soap, okay? It's tallow-based soap. We're done with that. The star of today will be Noble Otter Barbar. It's their variation or it's their yeah it, it's their barbershop scent uh, we're gonna talk about the soap a little bit later on the razor I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a gem 1912 uh, the blade in it I don't know it's probably five six seven uh, those blade goes on forever really uh, really good blade the brush I'm gonna use I'm gonna use again the Fendrian black and clear Good brush, okay, decent scrub. I really like it. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go rinse the face and I will be back and we're gonna load the brush, okay? Give me a sec. Okay, first of all, the soap. Okay, when you look at it, it's kind of beige. Uh, it's it's a harder soap, okay? It's not It's not super soft brush with the brush and we're gonna go for wring as much water as I can out of it the soap it's a vegan uh, no sorry it's, <laughs> it's tallow based soap uh, there's bentonite bentonite clay in it there's silk in it there's all kind of good stuff uh, the ingredient will be will be put up after the first pass There we go, okay. I was roughly 15 seconds. It's gonna be more than enough for tree pass shave. Um, okay, first application. Yesterday, in the French video, I went a little bit longer and I overloaded the brush took me forever to, to get the uh, I had too much soap in the brush to get the the proper water ratio it took forever the soap doesn't need a lot of water to uh, to create a ladder but it works, but okay, it can take it. Okay. Just added more a little bit. The scent on the soap. Uh, right off the okay, the the notes are written on the container. Notes are notes are because I don't remember from one time to the other. Lemon, rosemary, basilic, oak moss, sandalwood, and patchouli. Right up, right up the puck, uh, the scent strength is 6.57. It's not, 
it, it's not a weak scent, it's just the type of scent. It's a barbershop. There we go. It's a barbershop and the uh, the scent on it don't really scream. Uh, right off the gate, the lemon and the oak moss are present. Uh, the basilic, basilic and rosemary are gonna give it a little bit of depth. When the sandalwood and patchouli together, you don't really, you don't really smell the. Uh, the sandalwood or the patchouli in it, but it gives it a nice creaminess, earthiness. Uh, it's a great, great scent. Probably, uh, I would say, it, it in my. Oh, I forgot the mustache. In my. Okay, we're gonna go first pass. In my list of scent. It probably would be uh, number one in barbershops. It's a very classic, it's a very classic vintage barbershop scent. Although there's lemon, there's not a big citrusy component on the scent. It's it's nice, nice and vintage. For the barbershop lovers, you would love that. No, the glide on that is number one. Okay, there's absolutely nothing to say about the glide on on it. Residual slickness. It's there, absolutely no problem. I probably I could buff without any issues. There we go, and a, first, and a first pass. I'm really pleased with the shave, first pass. The scent is so nice on that, it's, uh, <laughs> I really like it. Um, what I'm gonna go do, I'm gonna go rinse the face and I'll be back for pass number two, okay? Give me a second. Okay, pass number two. The the ladder may seem a little well. It, it seems a little thinner than on the first pass, which is normal because well, I added water to my face. But it's fine. Uh, protection is not affected by it. Protection is not affected by it and the glide will increase. Okay, so I'm gonna pass with the with the uh, across the grain.
the big problem with those razors, the gems, it's really to get close to the nose. By the way, mustache is gone. Uh, you're probably gonna see. Okay, I'm I'm gonna try to put the picture in picture of all I shaved it. Uh, I got brand new straight razor this week from uh, uh, Alejo Balbis. He is an artisan, Canadian artisan that makes uh, straight razors. Beautiful thing. Anyway, well, you're gonna sit in action. You're probably you're probably seeing it in action right now. It is probably the best straight razor I ever tried in my life. Uh, super sharp. It's very comfortable too, and it's one of those razor that against the grain. Compared to all my vintage, uh, it does an awesome job. I don't know if it's because the blade is so thick on it. Anyway, when I figure out how to deal with my chin better, probably after Christmas, I'll, I'll do. I'm, I'm looking at making video on that with it. Okay, there you go. Second pass. It's excellent. The residual slickness, it's even better now. And I know for a fact it's gonna get even better on the third pass when my when I wet my face again. I'm gonna go rinse the face, come back for the third pass, and we will finish discussing the scent on the soap. Okay? Give me a second. Okay, third application. Just to go back a little bit on the scent, on the soap. Like I said, vintage slash classic barbershop scent. Um, it reminds me, with all being the same, it reminds me of um, Gillette Foamy or Barbasol scent. But then again, could be, I could be. A, could be skewed a little bit on that. I haven't used those in years. It's it really brings you back. It really brings you back to a no time barbershop. The scent is super, it, superbly blended. Um, there's absolutely nothing to say about. There's nothing to say against this scent. Okay, third pass against the grain. Razor is doing a really nice job. For someone that has a pretty thick beard, the gems are, are really good for that. The blade being thicker doesn't bend as much. Like I said, the biggest disadvantage with those razors, it's under the nose and start around. Start around the uh, the ears when you do a cross, pass across a grain. So if you like razors that have, um, 
that had a lot of audio feed feedback. They're great for that. Perfect. Okay. Really nice shave, really close, really comfortable. Like the razor, uh, the soap, awesome performance. It's thick, it's rich, very productive. The scent is, I can't say to die for, but it's, if you like barbershop scents, uh, it's gonna be, it's, this scent will be a winner. Um, the, the soap itself is awesome. Nothing, absolutely, only praises to give to the soap. I'm gonna go rinse the face and we're gonna come back for the conclusion, okay? Give me a minute. Okay, um, for aftershave. This one I'm kicking myself in the ass. Uh, I didn't pick the matching aftershave and I sure have, okay? The scent is it's a, such a beautiful scent. But uh, to go with this, I'm gonna use American Barber from uh, Razor Rock. It's based on La Rive Gauche, but inside, okay, but part of the nose, there is rosemary, uh, there is basil in it, which resemble, plus there's some oak moss, which kind of make it a little bit in the same family but it's not it's not the same the soap is way creamier than what American barber American barber can be there we go beautiful shave I, I like the scent of the aftershave but I still would have preferred the matching set. That completes today's shave. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, the soap re re I reviewed today was Noble Otter Barber, their barbershop take, their, or their scent on a barbershop take, uh, razor, gem, 1912. Uh, great razor, really nice. If you have a thick, coarse beard, Okay, you may want to look into those. Even if you don't have one, those razors are super simple to use. Just put the face, the 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 face of the head against against your skin and just go. You just maybe lift a little bit, a little touch, and you just go. Very comfortable, great stuff. Um, the brush Fendrian, black and clear, nice brush, nice synthetic, really cheap, great performer, gives tons of ladder. And the aftershave was the Italian, uh, sorry, American Barber by Razor Rock. With this, I hope you guys liked the video today. And I'm going to wish you tons of good shave for the week. Uh, <laughs> man, tons of good shave, a very good week. And I hope to see you next week for a new shaving review. With this, have a great week and see you next time. Bye-bye.